Hey, just a real quick video here on this little rock feature that we made waterfall for a uh, project that we did out of cardboard. And I build a lot of things out of cardboard, but this one here is just a, an example for a class that we did. These are the types of things that we make, you know, like these waterfalls on the, on the spa here. And then this little garden pond, you can all do this with cardboard, the waterfall in the background on this one, the Easter Island statues that I've made, I've made hundreds of them and uh, cardboard is my medium. So if you get the opportunity, anything that you want to build, as you'll see, you can build with cardboard. But uh, the one thing that's really is these bigger ones that we made that are 13 and a half foot tall, uh, Easter Island statue, again, with cardboard. You can make so much large and small items with cardboard. So this whale's tail bench, this is a prototype that I made out of cardboard, then I mudded it. And uh, basically, you know, to continue making the prototype, I ground it and sanded it, polished it and sealed it. And there it goes. Made a bunch more. Uh, you know, the anvil that I've made, there's some videos out there on my channel that you can see that are a lot of different cardboard rock formations. In this clip, I'm just basically showing you the cardboard L's that we build a frame with whenever we're making a larger feature. And then here's a little clip or a photograph of the cardboard L's up close. Okay, I'm starting the process out of building this water feature just by screwing together a perimeter of the base of my water feature using these cardboard L's. This feature will have three separate ponds, as you can see, top, medium, and then the lowest one. In this clip, I'm just setting four or five L's around to make the perimeter of this upper pond. All put together, and again, this is still a point where I could, you know, easily lift it, and move it around should you need to. Um, we'll go ahead and sheet this with the, the cardboard, and then we'll make our two other falls. Sometimes when you're making these, you don't want to just make the waterfall in a straight row like we've done. We can actually get a pond falling this way, turn it that way, and then back this way. A straight stair step isn't necessarily what we're after, but we just did this because it was it was somewhat easier. Again, you can adjust your bottom plate layout to where you have that twist and turn on your waterfalls, where it's just not a straight run like this. So you can see so far, we can just do some of this on this whole side. Right here we'll make another one, another three probably around towards the back, and this will be ready to uh, um, stabilize it. So now what we're doing is wherever there's an elevation change in this right here, why don't you zoom in on this guy, and we'll, get, we'll just take care of that elevation change, creating this to be one outside skin. So I'll put the tape on the, this, and then again I'll bridge that and make it to where it's a smooth transition. And that's basically all I'm going to do, and then we'll stabilize it. But again, I assure you, this is a fast, easy, and again, this thing is very light. I can move it to wherever I want. Usually we build it in place, but like I'm saying, All right, we've got that one side over there taped up, boulderized. Uh, well, we boulderized it first, and then we taped it. We take every joint that we have that there's an elevation change where two pieces of cardboard meet, good or bad, in their meeting. Now we're going to spray it with just a little pump sprayer with some Acro 60. And this is, again, just to try and seal this so that uh, water doesn't saturate it from the mud and make it collapse, which I doubt it would do on such a, a rigid uh, structure as this. But we'll just start by spraying it around. And again, you're trying to get a good coat on it. All right, I've made up uh, two sand 
wants to mix with the straight aqua. I want to use straight because it's cold, and I'm trying to get it to kick, get hard. Let me use this pool deck brush. We're just going to start from the from the uh, interior here and work our way out uh, and then around the perimeter. You're just going to coat it with about, you know, it's, it's hard to say. You know, you're, you're just trying to get about a, a half inch coating or so. I'll start right here where you kind of get an idea, but. Okay, we've added our first coat to the side rocks on the right and our rocks on the side here we're just starting to build out with some solid fill methods. Now that's obviously a, the rock on the bottom there is a garbage bag full of trash that we're just building up with. But you can start to see it taking some shape here. We're just now starting, like I say, to build in this uh, area here. Obviously, the one little area there where you can see the gray cement still, we haven't put a rock there, but we're starting to add some volume to this thing. Uh, it's coming along, and uh, it's just a matter of uh, taking the time to add a little definition. The waterfalls haven't really been messed with. The upper rock there where the waterfall is uh, yet finished uh, is obviously in need of some work. This rock right here, it needs to be built out, and all the upper rocks inside the pond all the ponds didn't seem to get much action, the lower waterfall rock, same way. It's just a matter of uh, getting somebody to get in there and build it. Now this is the side that we just did pop outs on with the solid fill methods. And obviously you can see this is uh, not yet finished, but still yet. This is obviously pretty much finished here. Just a matter of uh, texturing and coloring it now.